The Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Thanks to our friends at Discover Newport. Chef and owner Stephen Bird is here. Lou Roti Pasta. That's what we've got going on. Lobster and uh, burrata ravioli with some uh, bristle cream sauce and braised asparagus is what we're making. Good morning. Thanks so much Good morning, for coming in. Pleasure. It's, it's Pleasure. great Thank to you have you here me. today. Now, you were, you were talking to me about, I mean, this really is something that you first of all you love to do you put your heart and soul into okay, this company go. and the, the response from the community you're in Tiverton yes yes that's where, yep, the, that's where yep. the business is but the response from the community has been outstanding it's been overwhelming I tell you uh, for ever since the first day I opened even before I opened up uh, the Brick Alley pub was behind us so 100% I used to work there and I made the transition to the pasta sure. company and they were behind us all the way my first customer the local community has been so supportive I mean pasta has been in the area all, all for years right Right, and right. then all of a sudden it went away. So here's little Rody, and people are really uh, welcoming us. All right, for anyone out there who hasn't tried homemade pasta before, look, you can go and you can go to the market and get a box of pasta, toss it in the in the water, and then uh, and then make something. <laughs> That's not the way to go. This is homemade. This is made with a lot of love, and I bet you're going to want to rush in there and pick up all, some of the the different types that you make. So what do we need to put this one together? Uh, today we're doing obviously the lobster ravioli. So we got to start with some lobster meat. Uh, for me, I use a frozen product. Well. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's easier because you don't have to deal with the shells, you don't have to cook your lobster, so on and so forth. But you can certainly use a lobster. Sure. So I have the lobster meat, it's uh, somewhat chunked here, some, somewhat large pieces. And uh, burrata cheese is the other main ingredient. So I have my burrata cheese bowl in here. Yep. I'm going to add my lobster meat. And then you also have some of the other ingredients here that, yes, we, that I, we have too. I also have some chives, yep. some sea salt, some Old Bay seasoning, a little bit of dried garlic. Uh, some white pepper and some olive oil. All right. So that's what we need to to kind of get this all correct. Kind of get this and, all together. And, and one scrambled egg. Okay. Excellent. So we will put this together in just a little bit. Also, these are not just the only types that he that he makes there. There are a lot, and we will uh, talk about the business itself and give this a try. Back to you. Back to the kitchen we go. Not for a trip. Michaela is there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you can experience some great food while you're in our kitchen. Little Roti Pasta is cooking with us today. Chef and owner Steven is here. Thanks to Discover Newport for bringing him in. We're making uh, lobster ravioli. Yes, we are. Now, when we come into your shop, is this something that we can purchase while we're there to kind of just purchase fresh pasta on the go, be able to, to cook it at home? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I carry uh, several, six or seven flavors of sheeted pasta um, every day that I'm open. Yep. The lobster ravioli, they come and go. They go. Uh, they sell out really fast. I, so was I recommend so. calling ahead and reserving them uh, for the weekend. I okay. usually carry them Thursday through Saturday. Nice. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We have to make the ravioli, so, so um, you have a great combination here, and I I, I say that because you can see the chunks yeah, of lobster in key. it. Yeah, that's key. Absolutely, absolutely. So what do you have here? Uh, this is a burrata cheese, um, lob, uh, chunk lobster meat, a little mm -hmm. bit of uh, Old Bay seasoning, garlic, white pepper, okay. and chives. That's all it is. And, and is an it egg. like a melon baller that you use to uh, get no, the right size? No, it's actually a one-ounce scoop. Okay. And uh, I just scoop that. You can use a teaspoon, whatever you have available. All right. You know, but we're looking for about that that much. Right. You place it in there. Yeah, you place it. You, so you cut your circle out. You can use a, a jar or a bowl, whatever, mm -hmm. to cut these little circles. And these presses, you can buy them at Job Lot or whatever. Yeah. I didn't and you just they... put your product in the center, wet okay. the edge of the dough with a little pastry brush like this, which I've done already for you, Michaela. Right. So go ahead and fold and press that and push that down real hard. Squeeze that a good squeeze. Grrr. And that'll seal your ravioli so you don't. Uh, you don't get any water inside. Just flip it over and drop it. Yes. Okay, so out. just pop it right yep. out of there. Yep. That uh, was easy. I didn't know they very made nice. these. It almost looks like a pierogi, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah. but yeah, it's a nice little stuffed ravioli. Um, these you'll find special order at my shop. Okay. Uh, we have the square ones in stock all the time. Mm -hmm. okay. So we, we just keep going with this then. Exactly right. The yep. little scoop here. Yep, little scoop in the center there. And that's that's a key, put, keeping it in the center yeah, that it, way when you fold it. it exactly, doesn't. and then just a little wet around the, the complete edge. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's nice, like a little glue. Yeah, a little glue. Another fold. Let's seal it there. It's fine. I made to put a little too much in there. Sorry. Load them yeah. up. <laughs> They're going to be extra full they raviolis. They like them loaded up. Nice. Yep, beautiful. And yep. then about how long do these take to cook because they are so fresh. They take about 10, 15 minutes depending on your stove and the recovery rate of your uh, of your boiling water. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to keep making our raviolis and uh, we'll finish this recipe in just a bit. Stick around. 
Well, what started as just a need for pasta has become a great business for chef and owner Stephen Bird over at Lil Rody Pasta. Thanks to Discover Newport for bringing them in today. You're located in Tiverton. You have a wide variety of pastas and things that you that you make out of uh, out of your place every right. day. What did you say about seven different seven different flavors, flavors of pasta okay. uh, sheeted? You know, so you can have them cut any way you like. Oh wow! All, all, yeah. So we can yeah. go in and say I want linguine, spaghetti. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have some pre-cut, which is suggested huh. cuts. You know, for the type the pasta that sure. it is and uh, you can come in and say oh, I don't want fettuccine I'd like linguine I'll run the sheet through zing zing and you got it you watch wow. me cut it right there weigh it for you and you're on your way talk about fresh mm -hmm. and you're working with nothing but fresh ingredients here um, well except for the lobster I know you mentioned you you'd like to use that frozen just because it, it's so much easier yeah. when you're making a ravioli like Absolutely. this yep. and the chunks are still great the flavor is going to be there you saw us kind of fold some raviolis in the last segment where do we stand now well what I'm doing now is I've got the ravioli in there boiling salty water. Mm -hmm. Those will take about 10, 12 minutes, depending on your stove, how fast the water boils. Sure. I also have my asparagus in here. I have a little bit of olive oil, which I tempt up. Drop my mm -hmm. um, garlic in there, and I, I just saute this asparagus lightly with a little bit of kosher salt. Yeah, brown that garlic, gar garlic yep, up that nicely. garlic nice and brown. And I'm working on the Harvey's Bristol Cream sauce. Um, this is something my customers ask me about a lot, what to put on the lobster ravioli. Lots of times they see him grab the jar of tomato sauce, and I say, what are you going to do? You put that on the lobster ravioli, yeah. and they're like, yeah, said, no, oh, stop, no. put that back. So um, I usually talk him into doing this one, and I have mm -hmm. talked a few customers through doing it. So it's a, simply a, a cup of Harvey's Bristol cream in a saute pan. Mm -hmm. Some people like to light it on fire and get the flame going. Is that like a sherry? or It's a, it's a sweet wine sherry, okay. yep. You see how it's got a nice amber color to yeah. it? Yeah, so it very, smells aromatic. It's, it's very so nice. caramely and sweet. And to, with that, I, so I reduced that down. I started with a cup. I've got about half a cup now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add uh, about half a stick of butter to it. And we'll let that melt down just a little bit with a wire whip. Yeah. We'll and really kind um, of smooth that out. Oh, yeah. That'll blend real nice. And as it reduces down, it'll sweeten. You're mm -hmm. going to get rid of that alcohol. You're going to get rid of any residual water. And uh, you're going to be left with a real nice, caramely, dark, sweet sauce. It smells delicious already. And you were a chef prior to this, so you know these pairings. You know what flavors are going to work it's well. It's really what's made it easy for me, Michaela, especially with coming up with different flavors of pasta. Mm -hmm. um, people come in my shop and they're like, you have Cherise flavored pasta? What, what's that? You yeah. never heard of it. You I've know? never heard of that. <laughs> and it's Sounds really, good, though. It's really for the vegetarian, vegetarians because they like the flavors of Cherise, but mm -hmm. they don't want the meat. Yeah. You know, so it's really popular with them. So they come in and they take that and they mix it with peppers and onions and huh. things like that. Interesting. But um, this sauce is very simple. I know my pasta peeps out there are watching this and they're writing this down because they're always asking me how to make this one. <laughs> so here I have just a little bit of cornstarch and water. It's about a teaspoon of starch. All right, so and, this will thicken it up. And this will tighten it up. And you don't want it thick like a gravy. You just want it to cling to the ravioli a little bit. Yeah. So, um... That good in-between, because like you said, if we pour that on, maybe that's a bit too watery right exactly now. Exactly right. It would just flow off to the bottom of the dish, and mm -hmm. it would be gone. Ooh, my flame go out? No. I noticed you're adding just a little at a time. Just here, a little I'll crank at it up time. for you. There you yep. go. Because it, it, it doesn't thicken up at the moment. It takes a, a second. You mm -hmm. see it's starting to tighten up here nicely. Certainly. Yeah, Keeping an eye on that done. asparagus and the ravioli as well. Now, where are you located? You're you're right into Tiverton. You're right on I'm that right on the line. Four River Tiverton line, mm -hmm. around the roundabout by the new casino over yes. there. And uh, I'm real close to there. It cute little red building. Yep, cute little red building. You've got a big 10-foot banner on the roof and a 10-foot banner in front. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it. No way. Especially when you're going to enjoy some fresh pasta like this. And ready to go. Items that are ready to go. So all you need to do is boil the water. Isn't that the best recipe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right yeah. if you're busy and you've got a yep. busy day and all you need to do is boil some water boil and you got oil, dinner on the water, table. Add the salt and mm -hmm. you're ready to go. But um, see the ravioli nice. You kind of want to pinch them to see if they're tender. Yep. You know, these are pretty perfect right here. They're they almost transparent. Great. You can almost see through them. They're very nice and light. So how do we plate these up, Chef? All right. We're going to go just like so. And you said the lobster ravioli is usually something you offer uh, towards the weekend. Yeah. Thursday I, through. Yeah, I open on Wednesday through Saturday, mm -hmm. 10 to 5. 
and uh, I run these usually from Thursday through Saturday. Nice. Um, if you wanted them on Wednesday, I could have them for you. You just need to call ahead. Sure. Yeah, it's, if you're looking for something in particular, and hey, great too if you're hosting like a get together and you just want to order some fresh pasta. Absolutely. I do bulk orders. You can order 100, you can order 10. It awesome. doesn't really matter. Um, well, hey, between Father's Day or like a graduation yeah. party coming up, this is a great option there. We have um, cheese ravioli in stock all the time. Also, mm -hmm. uh, small lasagnas. Ooh. Ready to go. Take and bake items. Um, I pretty like much that. everything in the store you have to cook to some extent. Okay. You know? Yeah, but you've made it easy. Like you said, if the I, lasagna's kind of already done, yeah. just preheat the oven, we pop it in a, there. A lovely. Um, Burrata, uh, manicotti as well, burrata cheese, manicotti. Who doesn't love a good pasta dish, right? Well, you are seeing how this one gets finished with that lovely sauce just draped on top. Stephen, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your recipe. You're very welcome. If you want it for your family, go to roadshow.com.